I'm Dr. Duke Majin and here with a reaction video to a post by Sam on Facebook. Sam is in the cervical spine stenosis Facebook group posting about after an anterior cervical discectomy infusion, which you can see right here with metal plates and screws, Sam was left with permanent hoarseness of his voice. Sam cannot speak normally. Instead, he's talking like this. Why did people get hoarseness after anterior cervical discectomy infusions or artificial discs? Because there's a little nerve called the recurrent laryngeal nerve. It runs under the skin, inside, right next to the spine. And all too often, surgeons injure that nerve while they're doing the surgery. We call that a recurrent laryngeal nerve injury. It causes the voice box, which has two sides. You have a right and a left vocal cord. It causes paralysis of one of the vocal cords, so only the other side works. Can you guess which side gets paralyzed? It's the side that the surgery is done on. So if the surgeon goes on the right side, you're going to get a right-sided vocal cord paralyzed. Permanent hoarseness. In response to the post, here you have another person who's saying, my vocal cord was paralyzed back in the 80s, and I sound like an old person with laryngitis. That's exactly what you sound like, somebody with permanent laryngitis. This person was told they should stop teaching because they were a teacher. Listen, it's serious. If you're considering having cervical disc surgery, don't get an ACDF, don't get an artificial disc. They cause vocal cord paralysis. Go with the Duke Laser Disc Repair. The Duke Laser Disc Repair is a new endoscopic treatment that's done with a four millimeter incision. We've done over 1,400 of these surgeries with zero cases of vocal cord paralysis. The reason we don't damage the vocal cords or the recurrent laryngeal nerve is because we make a small incision and we use laser precision to fix the back of the disc and treat the herniation. There's no metal plates put in, there's no dissecting and no discectomy. It's the safest, best surgery for you to get your herniated disc fixed in your neck and avoid recurrent laryngeal nerve injury and permanent hoarseness. Thanks, I'm Dr. Arjig Majin with Duke Spine Institute.